as gallery director for Park West, over the years I've had the opportunity to sit down and really talk deeply with the artists about their work. In 2001, I had that chance with Linda, and we talked about the importance of line in her work. You are such a master of line. Your line has such fluid movement. It's so delicate. It can go from, from a fine line, almost like a single-haired brush, to a bold stroke. Mm. I think it's just masterful. Talk about line a little bit, how important that is to your work. Line for artists is innate. You can't learn it. Van Gogh supposedly learned to draw, but in her opinion, he was just very talented. It's very much like learning scales. It's like a dancer who's at the bar every morning. But it, it has to come spontaneously. Line is truth. If there's no line, there's no line. <laughs> and drawing, you can't fake it. Yeah. And drawing is like handwriting. I'll see on the back of one of your paintings a drawing that maybe you decided you were not going to continue. And in fact, we have a work in the show which has a complete painting, a fully sustained painting on the back of the painting. <laughs> and you just said, no, I'm going to turn it around and make a whole new painting on it. What is the criteria? It looked like a beautiful painting to me. What is the criteria for saying, that painting does not meet my standard, I'm going to change it and make something on the other side? It can be different. Sometimes she forgets that there's a painting on the back, and then she'll start paint a new one, one, and then turn it over and go, oh, there was only one there. <laughs> it's done. It's done. It's 